Hi guys, Stephanie here. I thought it'd be really fun to do some baking. I like baking, but um, becoming vegan and as well as needing to go gluten-free kind of made it really difficult as well as really hard to find things that I crave out in the world. So I thought it'd be fun to find something that I always crave as well as that's really difficult to um, find easily. And one of the things is pie. Some specialty bakery and it's like $10 for a slice and just, it's crazy. So one of my favorite pies growing up was chocolate cream pie. I freaking love that pie. There's literally nothing. I've never had one that was like terrible. That's pretty hard to mess up. I mean, with all the fat and butter and milk and the real ones. <laughs> Not that the one I'm gonna do is gonna be easy. Um, but yeah, I thought that'd be really fun. Um, I know it's fall, so people are like all doing their pumpkin pies and all this stuff, but chocolate and cream pie is like a, a safe choice for me always. Uh, and if it goes well, maybe I'll do another pie and that's more seasonal. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna read the, the ingredients. Remember, this is vegan and gluten-free, so all plant-based, no animal products, and pretty much allergy-friendly, actually. I don't think this one has even nuts. Yeah, there's no... I actually don't think there's anything allergy issues wise, like no soy, no nuts, dairy, whatever. So, okay, so ingredients. We have one fourth cup of cassava flour, half a cup of coconut oil softened, one fourth cup of coconut sugar, two tablespoons of our root powder, five to seven tablespoons of chilled water, one teaspoon of baking soda. For the chocolate cream pie filling, we have one and a half cans of coconut cream. We have three fourths cup of chocolate chip, third of cup of coconut sugar, as well as one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay, so we got all of our things prepped. Now let's go on to how we make this thing. Okay, so to prepare the pie crust, in a large bowl, whisk together the flour, our root powder, baking soda, and coconut sugar. Include the coconut oil into the flour until it resembles a thick and crumply sand. Um, add the water and continue mixing until it's a thick dough. Chill the dough for one hour and let it soften at room temp for 15 minutes before rolling out. Roll out the dough between two pieces of parchment paper. Pro tip here, if you don't have a roller, wine bottles or other oil dispensers or cylinder something in your pantry is sufficient enough. Just make sure it's sealed. Place the dough into a pie dish.
Preheat the oven to 350 and poke a few port holes in the bottom of the crust. Chill the crust for 15 minutes in the fridge while the oven is preheating. When the oven is preheated, put the pie in for 20 minutes. Remove from the oven and let cool while you prepare the filling. Prepare the filling. Combine the coconut milk, coconut sugar, and vanilla extract in a medium saucepan and heat on medium heat until warm. you prepare the filling. To prepare the filling, combine the coconut milk, coconut sugar, and vanilla extract in a medium saucepan and heat on medium heat until warm. Add in the chocolate chips and continue stirring until melted. Reduce the heat to a medium low. Continue stirring the mixture for about 10 minutes on low heat until the coconut milk begins to thicken. Remove the pudding from heat and pour the filling into the pie crust. Let's sit for 10 minutes, then transfer to the fridge to set for two to four hours, preferably overnight. When ready to serve, remove from the fridge and let's sit at room temperature for 20 minutes. Now it's time for the toppings. I topped mine with some homemade coconut whipped cream, as well as some grated chocolate that I had lying around. Of course, you always need to get your behind the scenes shot. And some film photos for Instagram. Okay guys, that's pretty much it. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up. And let me know if there's any pies I should try to make vegan and gluten free. I would love a, a challenge, especially when I get some tasty food afterwards. <laughs> okay guys, I hope you're having a wonderful day and staying safe.